children welcome back to your online classes before we start today's lesson i am going to tell you a story there was a boy who liked cashew nuts very much his mother used to give him 2 3 cashew nuts every day but the boy always wanted more the mother explained him child you should not eat more cashew nuts as you may get stomach ache the boy used to listen to his mother one day the mother went to the market and the child was all alone at home he took a chance he ate so many cashew nuts and then his stomach started paining when the mother returned from the market she saw the boy was crying she asked the child child why are you crying the boy said i'm sorry mom but i have eaten so many cashew nuts the mother took the child to the doctor the doctor gave him medicine and the child felt better so what do you understand from this story yes the first thing is that we should always listen to our parents and the second thing is we should avoid overeating we should not eat anything too much as it may affect our health so can you guess the name of the lesson that we are going to study we are going to study lesson number 1 food and health why do we need food we need food to live to grow to stay healthy to fight against diseases to repair the damage in the body it gives us energy to make new body cells to fight infection and to protect us from diseases like the vehicles need fuel which is burned to produce energy and which helps the vehicle to move in the same way the food that we eat acts as a fuel that is burned inside our body and it gives energy to the body apart from giving energy food also serves various functions for the body eating habits your parents your teachers always tell you to eat healthy food not to eat junk food to avoid chocolates soft drinks pizza burger etc because this is unhealthy food it may make you unhealthy it will make you sick what we eat affects our health you need to eat the right foods to maintain a healthy diet many people have their favorite foods however some may not be as good for you as others nutrients what are nutrients nutrients are the substances that are found in food that are present in food different foods contains different nutrients that's why we should eat a variety of food every day different nutrients help the body in different ways the food contains nutrients like carbohydrates fats proteins vitamins and minerals in the picture you can see various sources of different nutrients carbohydrates are known as energy giving food as it gives energy to the body when we have our race our games our sports what do we do you have glucose right because it gives quick energy to the body simple carbohydrates are found in foods such as fruits milks and vegetables also it is found in cereals that's why chapati bread and noodles are good sources of carbohydrates cake candy and other refined sugar products are simple sugars which also provide energy but lack vitamins minerals and fiber fats fats also give warmth to the body like carbohydrate fats to provide energy to the body excess carbohydrate is converted into fats cheese butter milk 
are the examples of sources of fats. Fats are essential but too much of fat can cause condition called obesity. It may also cause diseases like heart diseases, diabetes etc. These are the sources of fats like meat, various seeds, nuts, eggs etc. Proteins are called as bodybuilding food as it helps in development of the body it helps to grow the body proteins are essential for the growth our body needs protein for muscle building and for repairing worn out tissues that is damaged tissues chicken fish eggs milk cheese pulses and soya bean are foods that are rich in proteins this is the picture showing sources of proteins. Vitamins and minerals. Vitamins and minerals are needed in small quantity by our body. The various sources of vitamins and minerals are fruits and vegetables. We, have, we need vitamins like vitamin A, B, C, D, E and K. The minerals like iron, Phosphorus and calcium are required by the body. Apart from the nutrients, body also needs water and roughage. Water helps in digestion of food. Roughage is a part of food that cannot be digested by the body. It helps to throw out the waste from the body. Now various components of food their functions and their sources. The first one is carbohydrates. Carbohydrates provide energy to the body. The sources are bread, rice, wheat, fruits such as banana and mangoes, sugar, potato, corn are the sources of carbohydrates. Fats helps to keep the body warm. The sources are meat, vegetable oil, milk, butter, cheese, ghee, cream, dry fruits etc. are the sources of fats. Proteins are essential for growth and muscle building. Chicken, fish, eggs, milk, cheese, pulses and soya bean are the sources of proteins. Vitamins and minerals needed in small amounts for the normal functioning of the body. The sources are fruits, vegetables, fish, eggs and milk. A balanced diet, a diet that contains adequate amount of components are called as balanced diet. The balanced diet should contain fruits and vegetables, milk and dairy foods, fatty and sugary foods, bread and other cereals and potatoes, meat, fish, etc. Now, to make our diet a balanced diet, we should have food from all the groups every day. So, to make the selection of balanced diet easier, the food has been divided into various groups like cereal group, vegetable and fruit group, milk group, protein group. Nutrients are lost because wrong methods are used to cook or store food. We know that nutrients are very important for our body. So we used to use the methods which, are, which help to save the nutrients, which do not lose the nutrients. So what are the methods? Washing cut fruits or vegetables. It should not be done. The fruits or vegetables should be washed before cutting. Overcooking food destroys nutrients. Cooking in excess water and throwing away the water removes nutrients from the food. Keeping vegetables, fruits or cooked food for long time spoils the food. If we keep the food outside after bringing from the market, what will happen? The germs or the microorganisms will start growing on it and it will spoil the food 
and if you will have that food you will have food poisoning and stomach ache etc this is the picture how the microorganisms molds fungus they start growing on the food and they spoil our food and if somebody consumes this food they will have food poisoning stomach ache etc so we are going to end this session here side up